Hi guys! It's Tanya here. Thanks Tyler's for watching. Here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Alright, you wondering why he's here? He was in my last video with me too and he was like talking a lot about things he doesn't really understand. He did this eyebrow. So if my eyebrows look like twin or look like sisters but not twins, it's because this one was playing with this side of my sister face. From another mister. They actually look like kind of like distant cousins. <laughs> The other um, I was reviewing a new Maybelline product. Go check out that video because that's super exciting. But anyway, there's a reason why he's here. He's not just like a stalker who likes to be on my videos. Although he is that as well. Yeah. The reason why he's here is because he purchased this palette for me. Did I? You did. I don't remember that. You did. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, so the reason why he's here is because he purchased this for me. And so Alex's philosophy is if he purchases it, he gets to, to review it. If I buy it, I own it. He doesn't own it. It's not leaving with him when he leaves. You're saying I'm going to leave? Never. Alright, guess. Guess what it is. Okay, you ready? Guess in the comments down below what palette you think it is. Okay, give you five seconds. Is it a cleft palette? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> when this thing arrived, I literally asked him. I literally jumped I believe the your words were, oh my god! Probably, yeah. Um, first off, can I just even? Can I just even? Can I just even? Can you just the packaging it? is so gorgeous. A lot of people are complaining about the size. It is like the size of a record, and it's a size of a record on purpose. I mean, it's, it's not like a large record, like, but it's a smaller, like a 45 It maybe. symbolizes a record. Like, that's the whole purpose of it. And I love that she played with that packaging, and I love that it's huge. And I don't care that it's a waste of space. I just love it. What does the D in Cat Fondue stand for? I don't know. Anyway, this is called the Mi Vita Loca palette. This is... 24 bold new shades that are remixed from her fan favorite Mi Vita Loca eyeshadow palette. So she had a different Mi Vita Loca palette before that sold out like crazy. And the, what they did was they created colors based on those but completely remixed them. So first off, let's open this up. Guess we're going to scratch the record. Oh my god. Can you guys, like, can you even? I can't. Every time I look at this, I die. It's so... Beautiful. Most of them have not been touched yet. I wanted to wait to swatch as many of them for you guys Some as possible. Some of them are actually on her face right now. But then I was like, I should do my eye look. And I haven't done bright eyes in so long. Like, I think the last bright eye look I did was like in February or March with the blue. I think the last bright eye look you did was like my look I did on you. The green. But before that? Okay, so this is what comes inside of it. It has like the little backing and then it has these three looks. There's Dark Wave, Muse, and Misfit. I didn't do any of these today, although they're all very, very pretty. You could follow those looks if you wanted. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk a bit about the palette, the packaging, the type of shades that are in this, and then I'm going to swatch them all for you. Yes. You going to help? I'm going to be swatched. Good. All right. So first off, I love the way they laid it out. I love that it goes like blues into greens, into yellows, into oranges, into reds, into pinks, into purples, back to blues. And I love that the neutral colors are in the middle. I also really love that they added those neutral colors because neutral colors with a pop of shade, like if you're somebody that just wears neutral and only likes to put a little pop of color on your waterline or even just a little bit on your crease, this is the perfect palette for you because you're getting all your standard neutral colors in the middle. You have like a super shimmery cream color, you have their matte browns in all three tones. You have everything in this palette. You have everything you could ever need in this palette. You know what's also really nice about how they lit it out? It just follows the color spectrum, so you can see colors that match, that are like similar to each other if you want to blend. I approve of that, as well does uh, Mr. Gorgie Biv. Look at you. Yeah. He's right. You can actually easily see what colors contrast and what colors are um, similar and what you can play with in here. Or you can do whatever you want. Like today I totally did orange, yellow, and green and I love it. I think the yellow. You suggested the yellow, which I threw in the inner corner area, this yellow. Yeah. I'm going to go through what I'm wearing on my lids. Yeah. But I did a gorgeous mix of Misfit and Hyper Ballad, which I think is probably my new favorite color of all time. It is this matte teal. Oh my god. Let's just, oh my god. I, um, we all know that I own a oh. zillion makeup palettes. Yes. And I don't think I have anything that even looks remotely close yes. to this color. We're trying to narrow it down to like a trillion from a zillion, but well, it's a process. He loves me anyway. Okay, so we're going to swatch these. I think we'll start with the neutrals, and then we'll work our way up to the colors. Um, and as I'm swatching them, I'll tell you guys a little bit of their texture. I haven't swatched a lot of these yet, so I want to do it as I'm doing it with you guys. Some of them look a lot more textured than others. Like this one looks very matte, this one looks kind of sparkly. Yeah, it, has, it, definitely, it, to, it definitely has every finish. Like this one, uh, which is called Echo. Echo has glitter in it, like pink glitters. Echo. No, Echo. 
Anyway, it has pink glitter in it. There's a lot of satin finishes. There's some shimmer. I think there might be a couple metallics, and then there's some matte. So again, every finish is covered in here. So, what am I going to swatch on? Me. You're going to swatch along Alex's pretty arm here. Yeah. It's like, it's the good stuff. Check out that muscle. Oh, here we go. Gun show therapy. You guys ready? Get ready. I hope you're sitting down for this. Go, honey. Show them what you got. There. You can go bigger than that. I mean, I could do this. Look at that muscle, though. Okay, anyway. Can I swatch it up here? Also, check how lily white I am. <laughs> He's very, very pale. Okay, let's do your colors. I'm going to yeah. swatch them up here because this is looking like a clean surface. There we go. It kind of supports me. Perfect. Okay, yeah. we're going to swatch up here, guys. So you know we're going to start. Like, after you swatch, I can flex and make it bigger. Okay, so we're going to start with Skulls, and Skulls is a gorgeous white shade, but it looks like it's very shimmery. So this one has a little bit of powdery fallout. Remember, I was watching with my hand. So there's Skulls. It's a gorgeous, shimmery white color. This would be a beautiful highlight color. It's not be pinkish, I believe. Next, we have Noble, which looks like a matte, beautiful crease color. This would be like my dream crease color, because I've got a very peachy undertone. Actually, no, it's pretty smooth. It's not very patchy or chalky. It's a matte. Matte formulas are generally a little drier. True. So this is Noble. Gorgeous crease color. Look at that. It's like a peachy brown. We should zoom in on my biceps later. So I can we will. There. The next one we have is called Molder. And this is like a creamy ivory color. It's matte. This is going to be very close to Alex's pasty skin tone. So there's Molder over here. It's going to be very hard to see because Alex is very pale. But it's a gorgeous buttercream. This would be beautiful for an all over the lid shade for an easy transition or blending color. It's kind of like a cream color, like an eggnog color kind of. Okay, then we have Vox, which is a gorgeous deep matte chocolate brown. I don't think any palette is complete without this color. That doesn't look very brown, it's mostly black. No, it's brown. So there's Vox, it's very deep smoldering brown. Sorry, our kids are having a good old time upstairs. Then we have Strutter. Wait, whose kids? Our kids. Oh. So then we have Strutter, and Strutter is kind of like Noble, but I think it's colder toned. It's more like a Strutter. mauve. Do you see that? It's more like a mauve. I wouldn't call it. It's kind of... It's got more purple undertone. It does. Yeah, it's more like a mauve. Not very purpley. Okay, then we have Lyric, which is another kind of soft, kind of like... This one has shimmer. It's a little bit like Mulder, probably more pink than Mulder, Maybe but it's got some shimmer. So it's a kind of like... It's not as sparkly Skulls. as this one. Skulls is more metallic, and this is Lyric. This okay. is a bit more pink flesh tone than yeah. this is. And then the last one is Black Metal, which is just a straight matte, matte black. Let's go over here. Ooh, that's actually a very pretty black. It went on really nicely. Yeah. So there's the middle colors. So there's the swatches on his arm. That's all of the neutral colors in this palette. Yeah. So these are the pinks and um, orangey shades. Okay. It's gonna be really pretty, I can already tell. It's kind of like a very shimmery purpley pink. It's like a lavender? It's like a metallic. It's gorgeous. It metallic. Look at that. Look at the light off that one. All right. Then we have- Are you that on my pants? No, I've got a towel there. They don't do that. Towel. Then we have Swoon, and oh my god, this color right here reminds me so much of Max Louder, please, which is limited edition. So bright and so pretty. That's Swoon. Then we have Destroyer, which is a little bit more red. It kind of reminds me of Matt's Sushi Flower. It's not like, there is no like true red. This is probably the closest yeah. we're going to come to a red in this yeah. palette. It's like a pink red. This one definitely needed build up, so I would say this one out of all the ones I've swatched so far was a little bit more streaky than the others. A little bit more sheer. But you can see definitely the difference in the color there. Yeah. Really pretty. Then we have Rewind, which is a gorgeous like maroon. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is like a beautiful. <laughs> kind of brownish burgundy. It's like a burgundy. It's nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. Then we have Harpsichord. Harps harpsichord, yeah. Harpsichord, yeah. which is the color that I'm wearing over top of the next color all over my lid. This is a gorgeous metallic, it looks like a metallic like rose gold. I'd say it's kind of like a... Copper? I'd say that's a, like a copper. It's beautiful. It's a very nice copper. And the last color I'm going to swatch for you guys is Analog from this side of the palette. This is the matte orange that I put on my lid first. Oh my god, this one is so pigmented, it's ridiculous. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's the colors, guys. So those are the pinks, reds, and oranges. So
So I'm wearing analog first on my lid and then I put um, harpsichord all over top of that and I love that combination. So now we're going to do the two yellows and the three greens and then we'll do the blues and the purples last. So fern I have, or fran, I have not tried it all yet. It looks like, a, it looks like a, but like a summer yellow color. It's fran. It looks like a sunshine yellow color, but with some sparkle in it. No, it has no sparkle. Well, it has a little bit of sparkle. I mean, I have sparkle in my arm from before. I would it's not really this. hard to see that color on you. Like super hard to see that color see on you. When they get close up. We'll get close up. Legend is the color I'm wearing on my inner corner right now. And to do the highlight, this is the color that Alex picked. Oh, that's a very nice gold. It's like a nice yellow gold. That one you can kind of see better because it's got that shimmer to it. Vinyl is a beautiful lime green color with like definitely has some shimmer underneath it. Oh my god. Yeah. Why? I wish you guys could see. Okay, let me give you guys a nice watch of that green because like these green, this green is beautiful. Can you guys see it? I hope when he gets up close, you guys get a really good color watch of these because you don't right now. Misfit I'm wearing on the outer corner of my eye as the base. I applied Misfit first, this one you're going to be able to see, no problem. That reminds me a lot of Max Sassy Graph. Lemmy's a gorgeous, looks like a metallic forest green. Lemmy. Lemmy? Lemmy. Lemmy. Lemmy, for those of you who don't know, is the lead singer of Motorhead. Oh my god. That's like a great uh, St. Patrick's Day color. I can't wait to play with that color. There's all those, like the yellows are really hard to see on Alex's skin. Look at this. But yeah. that, yeah. Oh, stop it. But that green is like my new favorite color. That green and is amazing. Okay, last six. Are you ready? Blues and purples. So Hyper Ballad is the color that I have over top of the green. And this is the one that is the most unique in the entire palette to me. It's this gorgeous matte teal. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. I can't. Oh my god. I can't. Oh my god. Okay, then there's Synth. I haven't swatched any of these yet. Synth is a beautiful bright blue. Oh my god. That's, this reminds me of Max Electric Eel. I have Max Electric Eel. Very Eel. bright sky blue. Very, very bright. Then we have Dark Wave which is a more deeper blue. There's a lot of these matte blue colors it's coming up. Like it's kind of It's very um, old Kat Von D, like the Beethoven, Beethoven palette. Very old Kat Von D in my opinion. Maybe we're pronouncing them. Maybe it's Kat Von <laughs> Echo is a gorgeous purple with pink shimmer. I'm going to build this one up because one swatch is not going to do it justice. Did we do Echo already? No, we did not do Echo already. Then we have Muse, which is a gorgeous lavender shade. It's kind of soft. That is nice. That's very pretty. We're holding the palette upside down. The palette rotates as you come around. Okay, there's Anthem. Like there's a proper rotation of the palette and the word can come like down like this and then down like this. Anthem is very... But we keep spinning it so it's backwards upside Anthem down. Anthem is very powdery. Yeah, it is. Stop hitting me. But it's beautiful. Look at these colors, y'all. Oh my god, I want Look at these colors. biceps, y'all. Those are pretty too. <sighs> can't do it. Those belong to me, let's be clear. How would you rate my skin as a swatching material? Amazing. Actually, yeah. I'm going to do all my swatch videos on your bicep from now on. I'm the tangled part of this channel. Way better than my like little area here with all my veins. And okay, so what do you think of this? Palette gives you the perfect blend of neutrals, but all these gorgeous pop of colors. You can create gorgeous colored smoky eyes or under the waterline colors. I swear to you, if you only get one palette, and I've said that for about a couple palettes already, but after swatching this one... But all those she was lying about, this is the real deal. I don't know, it's so unique. I just love this. If you only... Uh, I can't, I can't. Christmas palettes kill me. They kill me. I do really like a lot of the colors on here. especially. What are your uh, favorites? I really like Lemmy, which was the... Uh, forest green. The forest green with the shimmer in it. Yeah. I like vinyl. I, would I have, like synth as well. I would have to say, even though Destroyer required two swatches to build it up, I love that gorgeous pinky red. 23 out of 24 is not bad. And Harpsichord, I really like. Yeah, Heart's Core was the couple. Rewind, really I really like. Yeah. The Burgundy. Yeah. Um, I'm really loving Legend as an inner corner highlight. I'm liking that yellow. Yeah. I'm, I love Hyper Ballad. Like, I'll just marry it now. It's amazing. Um, I, honestly, I love them all. I'd say this would be bad. About how much does this retail for, Tanya? This one is $78 Canadian. I think it's $56 United States dollars. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. He's a good boyfriend. Um, overall, honestly, you guys, this is hands down a must. I think this is going to sell out this year. Um, Kat Von D palettes generally don't sell out, which is always very surprising to me because I'm a huge Kat Von D palette fan. But I really believe this. So, no, it's okay. Don't touch. It's broken. It's broken. Don't touch. So.
So overall, um, sorry, we had a little accident over here. We need to go clean the up. The room got paxtonized. Paxton accidentally knocked over my three tier and it fell. And it would have been fine, except on the top of my three tier, I keep my glass brush cleaner and it shattered. Anyway, we need to go clean it up. But overall, I really think this palette's gonna sell out this year. I think it's a, it's, I think it's a beautiful find. In comparison to the palettes I have already reviewed, just to show you guys. Which is, this is obviously the hands down my favorite palette of all the ones I've reviewed so far. That's the Marc Jacobs. This is the Mi Vida Loca. And you can see, they're not at all similar. They have this two... This is a lot more bright. This is a lot more subdued. So yeah. it depends on what you're looking for. Depends on your taste. I wouldn't say that, like, get that one over this one. I would just say, if you're kind of person who really likes those pops of colors or colorful eyes, even more subdued colorful eyes like the one I have today, this is your baby. Or I even love this, this you can blend a lot and get a lot of different looks out of it. Yeah, I really like this palette. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this wonderful palette. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We're gonna go clean up the glass on my floor right now, which by that I mean he's gonna go clean up the glass on my floor right what? now. What? I love you. Didn't, you remember when I bought this for you? You did buy this. You do in return clean up. Honestly, straight up, I will tell you guys. Uh, I do have to say something, because I think a lot of people watch this channel and they see the amount of makeup, even this year when I've talked about the rough time my family have gone through, um, I have been getting some comments about like, oh, you know, like there's always haters and um, like there's a specific hater who's in my real life and I think I just need to kind of address it so that it's done. Um, I'm very lucky in my life that I have people like Alex and like my friend Jessica and like other people in my life who have purchased things, multiple things for me this season and just to make sure that like I don't give up on things that I care about because there was some time this year when like money was really tight and I was like I'm just gonna give up my channel because no I, I mean let's just be honest about it there was some time this year that like I was like I can't keep up with all the products that are coming out purchasing anything even drugstore stuff right now and I just think that it's not helpful for my viewers for me to continue to film at this moment and other people stepped in and made sure that, that didn't happen and that like I still got not everything I wanted, but a lot of what I needed yeah. to do reviews and to be here for you guys. So um, I'm really appreciative to people like Alex who spoiled me absolutely rotten. Me <laughs> Interruption by a three-year-old. This is my life. He's here. Say hello, Paxton. Say hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Don't we look alike? Flip him over. He's getting all red faced. Paxton, do you oh let's let's get Paxton's box. Let's what do you think of this? You think it's he thinks of this mommy's? This is mommy's. What do you think of the colors? You see yellow? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna swatch it. That's purple. Oh, oh, don't here, wipe it on here. He is a swatcher. Wipe it on here. I like it. You like it a lot? Yeah. Okay, you get a three-year-old thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, do thumbs up. Thumbs up. You get a three-year-old thumbs up and you get a beauty lover's approval. I think this palette is amazing. And you get a boyfriend thumbs up. And me yellow. You want to swatch the yellow? Yeah. There's yellow everywhere. There's yellow everywhere. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this three-year-old review. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to go clean Thank up the glass. Pretty. We're going to go clean up the glass and we will see you in our next video. Yeah, very pretty. Okay. It's a little dirty how the whole thing started. I don't even really know what you intended. Thought that you were cute and you could make me jealous. Poured it down, so I poured it down. Next thing that I know, I'm in the hotel with you. You were talking deep like it was my love to you. You weren't in my heart, but I just liked your tattoos. Poured